Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm just making a little video to let you guys know that I actually am planning on making a benchmark video with several games tested in one video where I'm overclocking the, the GTX 970M on the Alienware 15. Now I just want to note that I'm the overclocking that I'm going to be doing is a little more basic. I'm only touching the core clock and the memory clock. I am not touching the voltage. I'm not messing with the fan speeds or anything. So it's, it's more or less simple and uh, yeah, it's limited. It's going to be a little more limited than if you if you go and messing with the BIOS and, and other things. I don't want to get into that. Maybe I will in the future, but in the meanwhile, that's not something that interests me. Um, I do want to say that I have noticed a performance boost, and it's in some games, yes, it's minor. In other games, it's a decent boost from what might be considered unplayable to playable. In other cases, uh, at least a little more playable or a little more smooth. So I just wanted to let you guys know. And I want to do games that have built-in game benchmarks because I don't want to post a game that, I don't know, that doesn't have a benchmark and then I just happen to be in a particular area where maybe the FPS is higher than usual, lower than usual or something like that. So if you guys, w after you guys watch the video once it's released, hopefully I'll get it out in a few days. Once that's released, if you guys have any particular games that you want me to retest with the, the overclock settings uh, to see the kind of FPS that you could be expecting, then let me know, but the list of games that I'm thinking of doing, again, I'm not saying I'm going to do all these, but these are just some games that come to mind that have built-in uh, benchmarks. Dirt 3 Complete Edition, Shadow of Mortar, uh, The Division, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Bioshock Infinite, GTA 5, Hitman, the new one, the one from 2016, Mafia 2, Metro Last Light Redux, Just Cause 2, Thief, Far Cry Primal, and Dragon Age Inquisition. Now again, let me know if you guys think that any of these games uh, that I shouldn't test them because I know some of them are dated like Mafia 2. Um, if you want me to cut down, I could just do that. I think I'll also add timestamps so that you guys know what times to click to specific benchmarks that you want to see because I mean, who wants to sit there through X amount of games that you don't actually want to see. So I will be testing those games and in the video I will also be showing the, uh, the clock speeds and everything. Uh, I'm just try to make sure that I include the, the temps and everything should be in there so you guys can see. One thing to note though, I will be using a cooling pad, but again, uh, I will try to include everything in my video from the cooling pad that I use to, uh, as well as the, the boosts that I do. I'll try to include pictures and I will probably have the video, the benchmarks running side by side, one on the left, one on the right. The left will probably be the non-overclocked versus the right, which is the overclocked. And I'll try to have it at the same time showing the FPS. Uh, a little more like Digital Foundry style, um, but not completely the same. So just thought I'd let you guys know, definitely tune in in maybe in a couple days, maybe less, but within, I want to say three days at least, I do believe that I'll have this video out. So thank you guys for watching this and just thought I'd let you know.